Hello friends, you must be aware that uh, you know the scheme of education has been changed and a completely new scheme of education has been introduced. So let's discuss quickly what are the changes that have happened more specifically to paper number four under the new scheme which is your cost and management accounting. So what we have done is we have compared you know page by page para by para the old syllabus and the new syllabus and we have brought out the changes that have happened in the syllabus. So if I have to summarize before you know jumping deep into the uh, discussions, the changes are minimal. In fact, there has been the reduction of certain topics and hardly a couple of theory topics have been added to the syllabus. So you know one line for this will be old wine in new bottle. Only the color has changed and the formatting has changed broadly. But uh, you know having said that, let's jump into the finer details that have uh, you know, happened and what uh, the final changes that have happened. So, this is a quick summary that we have prepared. First topic, introduction to cost and management accounting. So, everything else is same. What they have done is there was one topic in the old syllabus with the heading use of IT in cost accounting that they have changed to brief discussion on digital costing system and some one page worth of new theory topic has been inserted. When we come to material cost, the second chapter, they have deleted the first illustration. I don't know why it doesn't make sense. So the concept is there. They have not eliminated the concept, but the illustration has been uh, you know deleted. From an uh, exam standpoint, from a preparation standpoint, it is always better to you know, go through that uh, illustration. Then they have also deleted invent, uh, you know, illustration number eight, which is based on inventory stock out cost. So instead, what they have done is they have added some other illustration. So they have removed one illustration on this topic and they have added uh, you know, illustration number seven on a similar topic. And don't worry, that question was already covered earlier. So it is you know out of one of the RTPs, which was published earlier, they have substituted that. And apart from this, in the second topic, the material cost, they have added some theory content on, you know, how to invite quotations, request for proposals and, uh, you know, something about notification inviting tender. Apart from that, everything else remains same. Then chapter three, the name of the chapter earlier was employee cost. Now that they have changed to employee cost and direct expenses. See, uh, in costing, we always say cost is divided into direct and indirect. Then we have under direct material, direct material cost, direct labor cost and direct expenses. Per se, in the old syllabus, direct expenses was missing altogether. Now what they have thought, okay, since there is nothing specifically to be spoken about it, let's include it by changing name of the topic employee cost. So they have made it employee cost and direct expenses. They have added a very brief discussion on direct expenses and they have given one simple illustration on that. All right. <laughs> Then coming to the fourth topic, overhead absorption costing method, absolutely no change as it is. Activity-based costing system, no change as it is. Cost sheet, chapter number six, no change as it is. In chapter number seven, cost accounting systems, there was a topic which was based on single plan and partial plan on how to do the accounting of you know, uh, cost records under those two plans. That topic has been deleted. So, you know, as it is, it was a little confusing for students to understand that the institute, I think, has taken a note of that and they've deleted it. Then coming to topic number eight, unit and batch costing, no change. Topic nine, job and contract costing. Now, if you carefully look at it, they have changed the topic to only job costing. The topic contract costing has been completely deleted from the new syllabus. In fact, contract costing, as I remember, earlier, even before the uh, you know previous material was uh, announced or released, prior to that, so I'm talking about you know one change before, they had a full-blown topic on contract costing. In the last change that they had done to the syllabus, they reduced it to half. They said, okay, let us keep it only simple, uh, you know, first level calculation. Let's not go into the details. In fact, uh, now, you know, what I realize is in the latest amendment, they have removed the topic completely. So a good news for the students.
Then chapter number 10, process and operating costing, no change. Joint products and by products, no change. Service costing. So here they have done a very interesting thing. They have introduced a concept of key performance indicators or most popularly known as KPIs. So they have included certain uh, you know measures that we can use as key performance indicators for various sectors. So it is a kind of uh, you know a blend of theory and practical. Though they have not given any illustrations based on KPIs or how to compute that, but they have said with sector what KPIs can be used. So I believe that that particular thing can be you know probably given as an MCQ or it can be a good theory question where they give it for four marks. So they can ask, okay, list down some KPIs for power sector, list down some KPIs for hospitality industry, list down some KPIs for hospital, so on and so forth. So about one and a half page worth of uh, material has been added there. And then they have added a new illustration on power sector. Then coming to the next topic, standard costing, they have deleted one practice question. So illustrations are, uh, you know, the ones which are given uh, as a part of your uh, study material. Towards the end of every topic, they also give us practice questions with solutions. So out of that, those practice questions, practice question number eight has been deleted. But otherwise, in terms of concepts, etc., everything is remaining same. Then marginal costing. So here I was very surprised. Uh, you know, they have deleted certain illustrations and, uh, you know, practice questions. About six questions have been deleted. I don't see a reason why they should have done that. But, you know, they have done it. So they have done it. It doesn't mean that, uh, you know, the questions based on those concepts or those concepts as a whole are uh, deleted. It just means that it is not there in your illustrations. But you still need to practice that. So we are going to, you know, learn all of that and retain all of that. But, uh, you know, surprisingly, they have uh, deleted those questions. Instead, they have added one question on opportunity cost. That will be illustration number 10. And then coming to, you know, the last chapter, budget and budgetary control, they have not done any change. So it is as it is. So if I have to summarize quickly what the institute has done, broadly, they have, you know, introduced three things. One, they have introduced the concept of digital costing system. Earlier, they had given it as use of IT in cost accounting. Some new theory text they have added there. Second, they have given some additional text relating to, you know, inviting quotations, request for proposal, notification, inviting tender, etc. Earlier also, it was given as bullet points. So there were five bullet points. They have just expanded those five bullet points and they have told how to, you know, address each one of them. And then they have uh, introduced the concept of KPIs, which in my view is the most uh, you know important change that they have done, and which is the most relevant change. But apart from that, only a few illustrations and questions added here and there. Contract costing they have deleted completely. So these are the changes which have happened to the uh, you know paper number four under the new scheme, cost and management account. Thank you, friends.